Hey YouTube, it's Amrix here with another short Visual Basic.net tutorial. Um, as you can see, I've upgraded to uh, Visual Basic 2010. Um, if you're on 2008, it's not a big deal. Uh, there is basically no difference. If you want to upgrade, that's fine. So um, this is really two tutorials packed into one uh, video. I'm going to show you how to create keyboard shortcuts for your form, and we're going to go over uh, events so that you can understand how to do that. So Creating keyboard shortcuts, you use them all the time. Um, the ones you are used to built straight into Windows are Control C to copy, Control V to paste, uh, Control Enter when you're in a web browser makes it go to dot com. Um, you're used to using all of these keyboard shortcuts. Um, so if you want to add this functionality to your form, it gives it so much more professionalism. And people who are not completely computer savvy pretty much expect every program to work the same. So I know that any program that I ever use, if you press F1, opens up the help window. If you don't believe me, go ahead, open up any program you have, and if it has a help window, press F1, it'll pop open. Now, your program won't do that because you haven't programmed it to do that. So this really helps people who might not, who are used to things like that happening for them all the time. Um, it just it makes it more professional. So what we're going to do is make a message box pop up when the user clicks F1 on their keyboard. So double click your form to get to your code. And now let's go over events. Right now, if you look up top, we are in the load event of form one because I'm clicked inside the private sub of form one load. Um, so if I want to go to a different event of form one what I can do is click this drop down drop down box and there's a whole bunch of different events um, that I can choose from uh, and basically anytime one of these events is set off is when it puts the code into action like here form one underscore load when the form loads execute this so what we want is uh, key down for when someone uh, pushes down the key on their keyboard this is what we want to happen Okay, so another part of events is you have to look in the parentheses. Byval center as object and byval e as system.windows.forms.keyEventArgs. So e is the variable we are going to work with here. Uh, it's just like dimming something, but I'm not going to go into the whole byval by ref thing. Um, all you have to know is that e is our variable for system.windows.forms.keyEventArgs. It's just a really short way of doing it. Okay, so we want the user uh, to have a message box when we type in F1. Let me go over something else that you have to know really quickly. I know this is boring. On your keyboard, each letter and every other button has a number that is specific to that button. And the thing is, that's on a processor level. So, like, that number will be the same on a Mac. It'll be the same on a Linux machine. It'll be the same uh, everywhere. All buttons have a number. Thankfully, VB.net actually makes it easier on us, and we don't have to know the number, but in order to understand the code, you should know this. So let's start with an if statement. If you don't know how to use an if statement, click the screen now, and you'll be taken to that tutorial. If e dot key code. Now remember what I said, each key has its own number, and I'll explain this to you in a second. If key code equals keys dot and then f1 then enter and we'll fill in the rest in a second now if i hover over keys dot f1 you can see that uh, f1 is equal to 112 now we could actually write all that out instead of typing in f1 but thank vb.net for making it shorter for us so i hope that makes sense if e dot key code equals 112 then do this so all they did was make it easier for us. We don't have to know the number for F1. All we need to know is F1, V, letters, and number. Okay, so anyway, and it's just as easy as typing in message box help. Okay, so on key down, if it is equal to F1, then message box help. So let's run that. And let's press F1, and we get our window. So that is how you uh, change the event. 
that is how you add keyboard shortcuts to your program. Uh, if you wanted something like a dual, like Control A, um, you would just have to do um, add a plus sign, or uh, sorry, an and sign in the if statement, and it would be that easy. So give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial.